Okay, here's the one video that everybody keeps asking me about, and uh, I've already pretty much made this video many months ago, but apparently I need to differentiate out a little better or clarify, as the case may be. Um, I have owned both VR1 and VR2 Nikkor 7200. Um, I can make some awesome glass, but those aren't it. Uh, both of them uh, stink like an anchovy's crotch. I know you love those cr uh, those really colorful analogies. <laughs> um, now, the question I keep getting asked all the time is 8200 8, uh, 2.8 Nikkor, which is built like a tank. Uh, new is $1,200. You can find it used all day long. Minty shape for about five dollars or $600. Um, still current production lens. There are many iterations of this lens, including earlier... Uh, push pulls and another push button model Hamron 7200 it's also a 2.8 incredibly fast autofocus it's got a lot of glass in it, 23 glass elements um, it does have VC vibration control same thing as vibration reduction and icon, no vibration control here now and the question is and I always get asked is that which of these lenses is the best and the answer is they both are they both are what are you going to use them for? What's your budget? And this lens is $1,500 uh, new. I think the price is $1,550 now. It, it should be still at $1,510. Let's say $1,500. Um, um, which of these lenses should you get and why? Um, so about $1,500 to $1,200 new. You really can't find these used uh, anywhere. Um, you can, but they're usually kind of ragged out. Um, this one also comes with a nice lens shade. The 80 to 200 does not come with a lens shade. Not that anybody gives a damn about that. Some people do. So a twenty dollar purchase. This lens is damn fast. Um, it's damn sharp. It's an awesome lens. Um, it's beloved. And uh, money being irrelevant, this lens is superior to the VR2, which costs a lot more money. I mean, a lot more. I would rather have two of these, a beater one and a regular one, to pack around for less money than what uh, a VR2 I mean, the VR2 just sucks. I say it's just, it just stinks like an anchovy's crotch. <laughs> Those are colorful analogies. Um, sports photography, action photography, vibration control. Uh, the images on these have a little uh, washed out saturation, uh, the actual rendition um, is a lot flatter on this, obviously, as I've stated. So this is perfect for photojournalistic work, per perfect for action, the autofocus on it's blazing fast. Um, depends on what you're using it on and what the action scene is, but uh, I found that the autofocus on this, despite protestations against my statement I'm about to make, is faster in autofocus mode than the VR2 Nikkor. Is. Um, this lens is awesome. Tamron has sold a piss bucket of these lenses, and uh, the approval rating by everybody is about way above 99%. This is also an awesome lens. What does it have that the Tamron doesn't? Um, they're both pretty tough, but this is a frigging tank. Um, what this has at 80 to 200 that this one does not have is uh, an amazing attribute that it has prime-like qualities. Has a lot less glass in it. The saturation and depth rendition is far superior to the Tamron. The autofocus is nowhere near as fast. This is a dated lens. Okay, it is a D series lens. Um, perfect for weddings. I would not use this for action. Um, it is a screw drive lens. Uh, I've got a couple of them. I love them. Everybody else out there that's bought one, I love them as well. Um, they're both equally fast. Like I said, the color contrast, depth rendition um, is superior on this lens. I would be using this lens in weddings, uh, a scenery, a wildlife, not action wildlife. I mean, it, pe people need to differentiate out the two. There's action wildlife and then there's wildlife. I mean, you got a fat hippo like myself uh, you know, versus uh, birds in flight, obviously action. Nature would be the Tamron lens, but uh, this lens is damn cheap, and it, Nikon has made a bucket load of these freaking lenses, and they're just exquisite. They're, they're awesome, and they're just a tank, and they're incredible, but both of these lenses are best, and they both have their own place. You're doing action, sports, photojournalistic work, you need the speed, and you need the vibration control, get the Tamron. You know, if you do shooting weddings, and... Uh, um, nature photography, been on action, action, action nature photography, 
and then they get the 80 to 200. Now, the close in proximal range on the 80 to 200, even Nikon warns you that this is not a close in range. So, this is not for shooting in the studio, you know, unless you plan on going down the hall or something. This is not meant for close in use. So, the Tamron can do that, whereas the 80 to 200 is specifically stated and it will not. You know, it can't, you're going to have focus issues, you're going to try to get in the closest range with it. It's not made for that. Um, but it's an awesome, uh, awesome uh, lens to have uh, for the chapel, the ceremony on a monopod. Obviously it doesn't have vibration control, vibration reduction. It's a flat out lens uh, that uh, you should have on a monopod or tripod or have really good hand holding techniques. Either that or high ASO, but uh, it will produce superior images to the Tamron. But uh, you're not going to find any of these used. You'll find a ton of these used for about uh, $500 to $600. So, uh, the answer is that both of these are exquisite. And this is actually the eternal battle of people that uh, talk about the tellies. The 7200, 8200. Which is better? This one's better. That one's better. You know, it's, it's uh, flip sides of the coin. One person saying head's better. The other person saying tail's better. And I'm saying that the coin is better. You know, the coin incorporates both heads and tails. The answer is what are you shooting? What's your budget? You know, what sort of autofocus speeds do you need? The answer is both of these are superior. This one has superior attributes and this one has superior attributes. Where this one fails, this one wins. Where this one fails, this one wins. So, that's the real answer. The real answer in the end of the stinking fight, because the photographers love to fight over these lenses as well. Which one's better? Well, the answer is both! Okay, thank you for watching. Catch you later.